let's start with the media queries we are going to write media queries to add the responsiveness to the website so start with add media space screen space and space open bracket max width 1050 pixels so now whatever stylings we define under this will be visible or will be applicable when the size of the screen is below 1050 pixels hash insta feed display none we are trying to hide the insta feed section when the size of the screen falls below 1050 pixel because when the size of the screen falls below 1050 pixel you can see that all the section gets congested so it is better to get rid of one of the section all right when the size of the screen is greater than 1050 pixel the insta feed is displayed again hash main hyphen navbar space dot active space a this will select the active link in the main navigation bar then hash main hyphen navbar space a colon hover this will style the hovering effect of the links in the navigation bar hash main hyphen navbar space li colon hover greater than sign a this will select the li tags which are inside the main navigation bar and will style the hovering effect over the li tag so when we hover over the li tag the effect will be on the link which is the direct child of the li tag font size 1 ram let's copy all of these font definitions so that we can reduce the font size of all of them Zero point nine, one point two, two, four. Dot container padding five rem exclamation mark important. This will reduce the padding around the container. you can see the size of the font reduces when the size of the screen falls below 1050 pixels add media space screen space and space open bracket max width 900 pixels so now whatever stylings we define under this will be applicable when the size of the screen is below 900 pixels so from 900 to 1050 pixels the above stylings will be applicable and below 900 this will be applicable let's copy all of these starting from the main navigation bar so that we can just remove the font size of them And let's reduce the margin around the logo so hash header space hash logo margin 0 now let's reduce the font size 0 0.9 0.8 1 1.1 1.8 all right so you can see the effects 
now let's take care of this text section because the first two columns are getting very congested so it is better to get rid of them and we have to make the images one in a row So let's start at media space screen space and space open bracket max width 750 pixels. So from 750 to 900 pixels this above stylings will be applicable and from 900 to 1050 the first one will be applicable and below 750 whatever we are going to define will be applicable dot container padding 3 rem exclamation mark important this will override any other padding definitions for this container class now let's change the flex properties so that we get one image in one row below 750 pixels so hash destinations space dot d hyphen flex hyphen r comma hash others hyphen issues space dot d hyphen flex hyphen r comma hash customize hyphen package space d hyphen flex hyphen r comma hash r hyphen blog space d hyphen flex hyphen r so we have referenced all of the d hyphen flex hyphen r class which we have used in different sections now let's change the flex direction to column earlier the flex direction was row for this class and let's make it column so that the images or the elements are aligned or the images or the elements are displayed one in a row then maximum width as max content so that the width of its container elements becomes the maximum of the content align self center refresh so they are appearing one in a row but still the customize package section needs to get the full width of the screen they are displayed in half of the screen dot one underscore half width 85 vw All right. Hash extra type in text. Display none. So we are getting rid of the extra text in the text section so that the text is better looking. Now this looks pretty neat. Now hash main hyphen footer space hash company display none. So this will hide the company section of the footer. This is the company section. Now let's add the ID company because we have used this ID in the CSS. Alright. Let's copy this font definitions and 
reduce the font sizes as well 0 0.7 0 0.9 1.5 3 now add media space screen space and space open bracket max width 650 pixels dot container padding 2 rem this will reduce the padding further dot font hyphen x2 font size 1.6 rem hash main hyphen footer space hash subscribe display none so these styling will be applicable when the size of the screen is below 650 pixels. Let me just add the ID subscribe here in the part where we have defined the subscribe button and the input boxes for it. Alright, so you can see as we go on increase the size of the screen more and more parts of the footer becomes visible and when we reduce the size of the screen the parts of the footer gets hidden one by one. I think everything is pretty much complete. So if you like the video please hit like button and subscribe to the channel and also let me know in the comment section if you like this series or if there's anything that you didn't like about the series let me know in the comments so that I could work on it in my subsequent video series. Thanks for watching.